Hi guys, welcome. Today I am going to talk about dental monitoring, uh, which is a virtual orthodontic tracking app, software and tool, uh, which is very user friendly, easy to use for your patients. So I'm just going to turn this camera around to show you and that's the beautiful view. This is my home office today, guys. So love working Mondays from home. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. So here we are, and I want to talk about dental monitoring. And if you look at dental monitoring, firstly, it is a tool. It's a software. You have a doctor portal here. And what it allows you to do is basically monitor your patients. So for example, I'll bring up a patient who's in treatment. You can actually see how their treatment is progressing. You can see views with and without aligners, their bite. Um, how the treatment's going, and you've got a lot of things you're tracking, like their canine molar relationship, you know, their midline, um, their overjets, overbites, and you can set up a lot of alerts um, for your patients. Now, see the green dots? This is the patient scanning with their smartphone, and you can see how compliant this patient is. Well, majority of patients are compliant, actually. And you can see that he's been told green means change aligners. So he's been told to change aligners at so many time points. Um, he obviously took a break. We were probably getting him new aligners made. And you see there's a break there. But this is what um, this is about. So let's just go to how do you set up dental monitoring? So basically, you have lots of protocols here that already the company gives to you. And you can see here in the protocols, we've already created our own and we have messaging. So for example, let's look at an adult um, aligner protocol or uh, let's look at a, a, a practice aligner go live protocol. So what this protocol is telling us, how often we're gonna request a scan from each patient? Well, we said seven days. And what if the patient is not ready to change their aligner at day seven? Well, we said, well, well, then we want to give this patient another three days and allow them to scan again. So if the patient gets a go, scan them every seven days. If they get a no go because their aligners aren't fitting well, do that. Now, there's a lot of notifications you can get. For example, I can track all my goals, you know, alert me when the canines become class one, alert me when cross bites corrected, alert me when overbites corrected, okay? So you can set up a lot of alerts here. Now, obviously we're tracking aligners, so I'm more interested in how well the aligners are tracking, meaning how well they fit. So these are all the different ways you can track. So what if there's a slight unseat? My protocol, here says, if there's a slight unseat, please tell the patient to not change their aligners. So they're going to stay on the same aligner and you're going to give them these different messages. Also, I've asked dental monitoring to exclude 1817, 2728. So all your back teeth, basically, because I'm not too worried if the aligner has an unseat slightly on the posteriors. Okay, I'm more worried about my anterior tooth correction. What if the slight unseat is still present in a subsequent scan? Well, I've asked dental monitoring to ignore it. And I've said, if it's a slight unseat two times in a row, please tell my patient to change their aligners and give them a recommendation to use the chewies so the aligners can fit a little bit better. What if it's a noticeable unseat, meaning there's a very obvious gap between the tooth and the aligner. Well, if there's a noticeable unseat, I want to be alerted. There's a red alert here, okay? I also want my team, so I've got team instructions here. I want my team to copy this notification in the patient chart. I want to open their clean check and see how many aligners left. Because if they only have two aligners left, we're not gonna worry about a noticeable unseat. If they've got 25 aligners left, we need to worry about it. They need to notify doctor, so they need to take a screenshot and let me know. And if the next appointment is within four weeks and it's not a finished appointment, ignore notify doctor. So that means if they're coming in the next four weeks anyways, and they've got a noticeable unseat, 
don't worry about it. I'm going to assess it clinically anyways. But the patient must not change aligners because if we make them change aligners, they've got a noticeable unseat. We need a liner to track. And we need to tell them to use the chewies a little bit more and increase their wear time with the aligner. What if the noticeable unseat was still present at the subsequent scan again? Well, then definitely it's a red alert for me. I want notification tab to pop out. I need the doctor, so I need to see this patient ASAP. And obviously, we want the patient to not change their aligners and stay in that current aligner. Because now, even with the patient increasing their wear time using the chewies, it is not tracking. Um, so these are all the different protocols you can set. For example, what if the aligner was damaged? Do I actually want to track that? And if it was damaged, I can um, look at different parameters here, actually. If it was damaged, what can I do? What do I tell my patient? We obviously have turned it off. So this is very specific things. You can also ask for an alert when a certain aligner number has reached uh, for that patient. So every 14 aligners, maybe you want to be alerted to book them an appointment or every 12 aligners. So you can ask dental monitoring to give you an alert that at aligner 12, please advise my team to book them an appointment. So the team will log in every day into dental monitoring and know what to do. Um, on top of that, if you're using braces, there's a lot of other things. Um, you can look at hygiene of the patient, gingiva, tooth damage, occlusion, mucosa, uh, anything, even a tooth color change. For example, for those who suspect endodontics uh, might be needed on a certain tooth during treatment, you can ask dental monitoring to notify you if there was a noticeable tooth color change at any scan. And then I can tell my team, call the patient or call the patient, give instruction or a hygiene or check with doctor. And I want the team, let's do a warning here. We want, I want to be warned that a tooth color has changed. We're not going to send any message to the patient because we don't know if this needs to be investigated. So my team will actually now, if I set this parameter and I go save on this protocol, anytime there's a noticeable tooth color change during orthodontic treatment at any scan, I will get an orange alert in my dashboard, which means it's important red alert is red attend to it now okay so i prefer an orange alert and you can exclude teeth you can say i don't care if it's the 1828 you know i don't want to be notified of a color change of third molars for example um, or i don't want to be notified of color change in primary teeth if the patient has primary teeth i mean you know and they're going to exfoliate i don't care so i'm going to actually say don't worry about primary teeth color change i am not assessing that or evaluating that i only want permanent teeth and i don't want third molars and please don't track color change on those excluded teeth you can then choose to send a message to the patient but here i don't want to you can say please um, call us, please uh, call for instructions. But at this point, we don't want to. We don't want to scare the patient away because we don't know what it could be. So we're just going to save this notification. And this becomes now a protocol. So we have a protocol called Adult Aligner Go Live Protocol, which is for our practice. Uh, you can also actually go and apply a certain protocol to a certain patient. And um, but this is the generic protocol. So we are tracking our certain goals. We're tracking our aligner feet, um, attachment, debonding. We're tracking intraoral evaluation. Now, we're not tracking braces because this is not a braces patient and time frame also we're not tracking. So for example, every 12 weeks, you can send a patient an alert saying, listen, it's been six months now you should go book an appointment with your dentist for a checkup and clean. So we could add a specific date or we could say every 90 days, remind the patient to go to the periodontist. So 
you know, dentists will love you for that. As an orthodontist, if I'm alerting my patients to go do their dental checkups every six months, I'm actually doing the recall job for you. And actually, I'm not doing anything. It's just my protocol. It's automated. If the patient's compliant, um, they're going to get this messaging. So currently, I'm going to turn it off. But basically, this is how you set up a protocol. Now, in dental monitoring, you have the ability to have um sorry i have to save this so once i save this just one sec once i save it you have the ability to create as many protocols as you want so if i go into my protocols you can see we've got quite a few protocols already made up here and you can easily assign each protocol to a patient but then dental monitoring give you a whole lot of protocols for example whitening if you want to track color changes gingival recession, if you want to track trauma, bruxism, if you want to track periodontal treatment, calculus, right? There's so many other protocols you can do for GPs, um, aligner protocol, retention protocol. So dental monitoring actually started as a product just for orthodontic treatment monitoring. But actually, it can monitor oral mucosa, color changes, growth. It can monitor so much more than just orthodontics. So, for example, it can monitor a color change. It can monitor um, whether you have calculus, whether you're getting recession, whether your bruxism, your tooth wear. Okay, so it's really, really incredible uh, how accurate it is. In my experience, super, super accurate. And... Um, I'm just going to turn around. In my experience, to the point I've been using it for four or five years, very early it had an accuracy about 90% already, maybe 92, 93%. I think dental monitoring got things wrong. Now, five years later of me using it, I'd say the accuracy is about 99 to 100, almost 99%. I wouldn't say 100, but 99%. If it picks something, there's really something to it. So you must look at that alert. You must pay attention to it because their predictability has improved over time to such a significant level that it really assists the doctor uh, to see things virtually without bringing patient in the chair and be able to manage that patient virtually or clinically. If you want to bring them in clinically, you can do that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial um, of, of what I tried to show you. Um, I just want to show you it's such a beautiful Monday in Sydney. And this is my home office. And I uh, just want to say hi to all of you there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Send me a comment. Ask me a question. Um, and uh, this is what I'm doing all day. I'm just observing my patients on dental monitoring. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye.